CAD. As Maximus here, this is another uh, classic tool. Difficult to find information on this company because this is a, and if we can just get the right light, there you go. This is the Golden Compass Company, Elkhart, in Elkhart, Indiana. We actually do have some patents. Gosh, the stamping is not super deep on this. It's probably one of the biggest issues. Super hard to get, just to show the patents. 1916, 1918, 1920. I don't think this was made in the 1920s. This is obviously much later. I believe it's stainless steel. Only a light amount of surface corrosion or if just happened to get a bit lucky. Someone did drill a hole in the end to hang it. They didn't put it very centered. This is combination compass, kind of compass and protractor, but it's a semi type of deal. What you'll notice is a little bit odd the way this beam is offset. That's so it has this little pin here. It actually is retractable, so you can actually, it's friction fit, so you can pull it up if you don't want to use it, or you can push it down, stake it down to something, and that pin's going to be right in the center line of this compass. So you can then, what we have at quarter inch increments is all these holes. It's actually pretty magnetic, so it may not be stainless steel, so you can push that pin down, do something like this, and then use it uh, as a protractor and just go around and draw particular circles. One of the things that is kind of interesting is since that it is also a uh, compass, you can actually do specific angles. Say if I want 25 degrees and what I might do is put a little tick mark on this, come around and if I want to make just a 25 degree arc, I would just come around and twist this until I hit 25 degrees and then I made an arc that's gone around 25 degrees and I thought that's kind of an interesting aspect about this particular tool is the fact that you can mark segments of circles relatively precisely. We do have measurements here. This is a six inch scale tick marks about, excuse me, I shouldn't get confused on the bottom here. We actually have decimal inches. So there's 10 tick marks between inch inch. We have 30 seconds there. We actually have a really fine 64 scale here, and we have an additional scale right here, which is all is the stamping on this scale is just about invisible. But there's also a two inch 30 seconds here, so you can do kind of odd things where you can say you want this, you want to do a, a semi arc that's offset. What you can do is you can pin it down, make a mark, move it over, say one inch, and then do your arc, and now you've done a measured offset. So I thought this is actually kind of a fascinating little tool because it does it does combine the compass and protractor and allows you to do some things that are intellectually difficult arc segments or when you want to do an arc offset it by an inch or two inches and do another arc those things are actually kind of difficult to do and this actually makes it easy because you can measure off the center line do an arc move over another step do another arc and I think this thing is fascinating, and I'm actually kind of surprised that these aren't uh, a little bit more common. The other thing is with the holes here, I wish they weren't just at quarter inches. They had enough space, so I think they should have actually put them at uh, eighth inches, just so you could have more options. Anyway, I just wanted to share this neat little combination, this kind of compass protractor combination, and thought it was actually pretty fascinating and, and a smart little tool and maybe these things are available in uh, arts and crafts stores or architecture or architectural supplies that type of stuff <laughs> and i'm just ignorant which wouldn't be the first time but i did want to show at least show this classic golden compass one uh this old american made one with patents that are more than 100 years old now part of the issue with looking up information on the golden compass company is the words golden compass is actually pretty popular and there's actually a lot of different businesses, brokerages. Uh, I think there's even a movie called Golden Compass. And so the search results just were very difficult to actually find any information about this actual tool manufacturer, which was a shame. But maybe uh, one of the viewers will have a little bit more information. Anyway, I just wanted to share this uh, unique tool that, well, I know I have it, is actually going to be something that I'll probably end up using just because uh, I know the kind of power of it. Anyway, 
You do need to be careful, though. I will admit that. It's a little warped. I had to spend some time straightening it out because it is just a thin piece of sheet metal. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.